ever pondered the intricacies of light and its interaction with matter? Or questioned what lies beyond the traditional understanding of absorption and Rayleigh scattering? It's time to delve into the fascinating world of quantum physics and explore an uncharted territory where photons transform into particles, specifically Lorentz bosons. The recent Thorlabs data has shed some fascinating light on this subject. The plot reveals two sets of data points, labeled as high OH and low OH, indicating different hydroxyl content levels in an optical medium. These data points are plotted against wavelength and attenuation, which is the loss of light signal strength due to scattering and absorption as light travels through a medium. Interestingly, the graph also includes a line labeled 2 times Rayleigh, a theoretical benchmark for how Rayleigh scattering behaves across the wavelength spectrum. But here's where it gets intriguing. A model is suggested that accounts for a phenomenon where photons, which would normally scatter, are instead being converted into Lorentz bosons at an astoundingly high conversion rate, 97.6%. This is not typical behavior according to standard physics. So, what does this mean? It implies an alternative mechanism for light attenuation in optical media, beyond our traditional understanding. It also indicates that the optical properties of the material, such as its hydroxyl ion content, may significantly impact this conversion process. This new understanding could revolutionize fiber optics, leading to less loss, and inspire the creation of novel sensors and detectors. But how do we detect and measure these Lorentz bosons? Enter the McGinty equation, abbreviated as MEEC. This equation, with its fractal potentials and their interaction with quantum fields, could be applied to simulate the quantum fields associated with Lorentz bosons, predicting their generation and interaction with various materials. By manipulating fractal potential fields, researchers might create conditions conducive to the production or detection of Lorentz bosons. MEQ's approaches to space-time could assist in designing experimental setups that exploit space-time curvature effects on the propagation of these hypothetical particles. MIKU could also predict unique signatures or interaction patterns of Lorentz bosons with matter, which could be targeted in experimental detection methods. This equation might also inform the design of more sensitive instruments tuned to the specific properties of Lorentz bosons, potentially enhancing our chances of observing their effects, such as their impact on the quantum state of a system. If Lorentz bosons have quantum properties, the MEQ could be used to model quantum information processes that include these particles, which might be detectable through quantum computing techniques. In conclusion, the model of escaping Lorentz bosons, accurately fitting the recent Thorlabs data, suggests the existence of a previously uncharacterized physical phenomenon. This could lead to groundbreaking advancements in the field of quantum physics and beyond. The journey to uncover the mysteries of light and its interaction with matter continues, and with each discovery, we inch closer to understanding the fabric of our universe.